everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're having a great day, great night. Today I'm doing a little bit different video. So this week in Utah we celebrate Pioneer Day. And you may be thinking, what's Pioneer Day? Well, I'm here to tell you. So here in Utah, a lot of the descendants and the people that, that founded Utah were all pioneers. And they came across in hand carts and wagons and they did like some of them was easy and other ones were hard and I was a descendant of a lot of them and that's how I came to be so um, I'll be telling like a little story here um, I just want to talk a little bit about Pioneer Day because I love it so I'm gonna get a little comfortable with y'all so I have a lot of things that like have helped me with the pioneers and to relate when I was like really little um, well probably like 11 12 so maybe not really little um, 11 or 12 around there there was there's these pageants that um, the church puts on or people around here and they kind of tell stories in the history um, of these different events that have happened um, in my church's history with the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints and one in particular was the um, handcart pageant and so I was able to be um, a part of that and I tell the story of the pioneers there was the handcart pioneers which came across in the winter and yeah, they, there's a lot going on in there, but pretty much they came over late in the season. They all, these saints really wanted to come over. They were coming from England, and they really wanted to come to Utah really, really bad. And they left really late in the season, and the winter came, and a lot died. They were starving. They, their feet were um, freezing, and they were pulling hand carts, and they're going across all this ice. And so it was really rough and really hard for a lot of these saints, and a, a lot died. Um, but they were able to send some people back from Utah, they were able to get the word, and people were coming to save them and get them food. And so it's a lot of cool stories, and I would say look into it. Um, and I would even, I'll even recommend some different cool videos and some different cool stories. Uh, like you go to right, like Ephraim's Rescue, 17 Miracles, also some really, really good ones uh, that tell a story. You can think you can find those on like. Amazon Prime, at least Ephraim Rescue, I know I just watched that today. Um, 17 Miracles, you might have to find some other places, but it's really, really cool. Um, but one of the story in particular I want to tell of Sarah Ann Hay. And her story is really cool. I'm actually not related to her, I'm related to some other people. But for my church when I was um, a teenager, I went to this week long uh, like girls camp, is what we call it. And you just have like, a lot of cool experiences, but there's a theme every year, and one year was the Pioneers. And that year I was a youth leader and what they wanted me to do was to tell the story in first person of, um, of Sarah Ann Hate was my was the person I was. And so everyone went to these different booths and everyone heard a different story. And I wish I had written down, um, I had the whole script um, memorized and it was a really cool experience for me and really life changer. Um, and I don't have that, so I thought, I want to kind of film this, I've kind of gone the story again, and it probably won't be as first person, but I do want to tell you the story and some detail and make it really cool. Um, so you can kind of see her point of view, because she seems really awesome, and I want to share this story with you guys. So here's the story of Sarah Ann Hay. So Sarah Ann Hay, when she came over um, with the uh, Martin Handcart Company, she was 19 years old. So some of you might be able to relate to that. Um, she had an older brother and I believe four younger siblings. Um, it was, for, she's from her mom's first husband, he died and then she remarried. And then um, right before they were about to come over, he um, passed away too. But before her and her family all came over, they received a blessing that all of them would, re would come to Utah and they would um, leave safely. So they're leaving England and um, Sarah and Hay, her mom Elizabeth, um, two of her brothers came and says, if you stay in England, we will provide you with everything you need. Your kids will never want anything. And she was from a pretty rich family anyways. And her mom says, no, I'm going to Zion. So they start coming over and they have to get rid of most of their belongings. Uh, and they came over with a lot of stuff, but you only can take so much in a hand cart, they're not that big. Um, and you can't carry a lot. So they was pretty much just like their clothing, any necessities, and they sold everything else or gave it away to the people in need. And so they were coming across, and during this travels, um, it started getting to where it was winter and it was icy. And there was ice coming down the river, there was big chunks. People were, they didn't have the shoes, their shoes were wearing out. They were walking and their feet were bloody and black and gross and it was so cold that when they crossed the river 
that the, their skirts would stick to their legs um, and it would just be ice. And during one of these um, crossings, um, Sarah Ann, Sarah's uh, mom, was um, she was crossing with her, the youngest, um, with her youngest brother Samuel, on her shoulders, and his feet were hanging just right on her shoulders, and the feet were hanging down. And as she started cr crossing, um, the current came and it started sweeping her down. And he, the son, was still on the head, and people were yelling, "Let your son go! Save your own life! It's not worth it!" And Elizabeth remembered the promise, and she's able to regain her balance and climb back up onto shore. And she stood up, put her hand to the skewer, and she bore a testimony that God lived and that she knew her family would all reach Utah safely. Um, I don't know if it was that same crossing. Um, I actually, I believe it was that same crossing that Elizabeth, or that Sarah Ann, um, she went across 32 times back and forth across the river and carried 16 people on her shoulders or on her shoulders or she carried them some way across which is a lot I'm sure she was she let says that she was um, or she, she went across and um, carried 16 people and that's a lot for anyone to do and the next day I think 13 18 people passed away and most of those were all people that helped carry others across but she was able to live and I think that's really cool for anyone to do, but also a 19-year-old girl to keep going back and forth when you're already frozen and you want to give up and you just want to go to sleep and you can't. And Sarah Ann kept going back and forth um, to help other people out. Uh, it was like, it's a big miracle. So um, from all those events, Sarah Ann and her uh, mom and her siblings all reached Utah safely and all made it back alive. One thing that Sarah Ann did mention in her journals was that everyone else um, was losing weight and they were, by the end of the travels, they were only eating like some flour mixed in with some water um, or they're boiling their shoes or finding like any kind of bark to boil it down for any kind of nutrients. And so when the rescue party is really came in with food, it was a big miracle. But she mentioned that everyone else was losing weight and she didn't, which is kind of a miracle. And her descendants or her kids kind of blamed, um, not blamed it, but they um, said maybe because she had a low metabolism, which is probably good and helped save her, um, her life through that journey. And so it was really cool. But to see the testimony of her mom and to her, and they're trying to save other people and they believed in God. And it's really cool of these pioneer stories, not only um, that they did these hard things, but to look at our lives and what are we struggling with, what are we trying to get through, and what can we put in God's help um, and put our trust in God that He's going to help us out because there's hard things and some days we're going to make it feel like we're not getting anywhere, that we can't do hard things, but we can look at the people from our past. Um, mine are a lot of the pioneers, I have other ones that are not, but you can look at your ancestors too and what made them strong through the hard times what made them the person that they were because there's one thing you definitely have in common with all your ancestors they didn't give up they kept going because you're here and so you know that and they went through hard times and I think we all struggle with so many different things but we can all be strong and we can all be tough and just to know that God loves you and he'll be there and sometimes we don't know the reason to everything or why we go through hard things but we'll be stronger in the end and I know whenever I'm trying to go through trials that I look at the people or I look at my I try to look at my own life um, right in that moment and saying why am I going through this and what can I learn because the sooner you can learn lessons um, in the trials it seems to make it a little easier and you can get through them a little quicker and it's just a better experience and so I know these stories with like Sarah and he and her family were amazing and God was there and I know that he's in your life too and shaping it and he'll help you get to where you need to in life and I know that he loves you and that he cares about you. So never give up. <laughs> never. Just keep going. Don't let what other people say affect you. Just live your best life and don't be afraid of anything. Uh, I'd love to hear your pioneer stories or who you're related to. So go follow me on Instagram 
and tell me some of your stories. Tell me some stories below. I just want to hear them. If you have any questions um, about my church, Church Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, or Pioneer Stories or anything, also feel free to leave a comment or find me on Instagram. But I'd love to have more stories. If you want more like this, tell me below. And you have a wonderful day. Know you are amazing. Know you are loved. Hope you have a great day, great night. Bye. I love you.